Hey everyone, it's Mrs. Anisi. Today I wanted to show you guys how to play a game on gregtangmath.com. If you click on games right here, you will get a bunch of choices for online games. I have made videos already for 10 Frame Mania and Math Limbo, and today I'm going to make a video for you of Numtanga. So you can press learn and it will teach you how to play. <clears throat> Or you can play Num Tanga Jr. or Num Tanga. So I'll start with Num Tanga Jr. It says level one, which is numbers one through five, which is pretty easy. If you think you're ready for more, you can move on up. We press start. The goal of Num Tanga is for you to match two of the same numbers. So I see the number two here, and I see the number two here. It's different number representations. I see the number five, because I see five fingers, and five, the number, the digit five as well. And you'll see you're keeping track of my score over here. I see one finger and one. I see the number three and the number three. Four and four. I see four and four again. Here I see three, and I see three as well. Number one, and one finger. And you'll see as I play different rounds, the numbers are gonna change. You're gonna see different representations of the numbers and see numbers formed a different way. So we've completed level one, round one, and they're gonna give you round two. So you could keep doing that and you'll see the numbers change into 10 frames. So I see the number four here and four. I see the number four and four. And if you notice, he, 10 frames are not together, they're actually separate. So it's two five frames to make a 10 frame. The number four and four. And they're keeping track of your time over here and your score is up here. And it gets harder as you go through. Remember, we're playing the junior game right now. So, I think you guys understand this. I want to show you how to play. Well, look, I'm going to switch to a harder level. And now you're going to see larger numbers. And what you see here is this is actually a 10 because it has the 10 right here and 3. So, that's 13 and 13. Again, I see 10 and 3, 13 and 13. I see the number 11, I see 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So my suggestion is to make sure you count so you can match. So that's how you play this level. Now I wanna go back and I wanna show you Num Tanga. Not Junior, just regular Num Tanga. So let's just say you can start down here, which is on numbers zero and 20. Level two is 11 to 30. Level three is 30 to 100. Level four is money. And then it gets into fractions and measurements. So it gets pretty tricky, guys. I'm gonna go to level three and we'll start there. So now you're gonna see numbers that go much larger. So I see 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 83. I don't see 83 anywhere, but right here I see Six tens, which is 60 and four, so 64. And if I keep looking, I see 60 plus an eight, which is 68. Let's see over here what I have. Six tens, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68. So 68 matches 60 plus eight. So that's what you do, you just match the numbers. Sometimes they're in word form, sometimes they're in expanded form, sometimes they're in 10 frames, sometimes you're just gonna see digits. So I see 39, 68, 60 plus eight. Hmm, those match. So that's how you play Num Tanga, just another fun game on gregtangmath.com. I hope you guys will check it out. If you're ready for a challenge, check out the money level because now you're gonna to have to start matching different amounts of money. So I see a nickel, I see 40 cents and 40 cents. That's the money version. The fraction version 
is finding fractions that are the same. I see 5 eighths and 5 eighths. So this game can be for anyone. I see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So I know there's 8 parts and there's 5 colored out of the 8. So that's 5 eighths. And this is the fraction 5 eighths as well. And then the last version is measurement. So this game is actually a ton of fun and you have to do equivalent measurements. Mm, eight fluid ounces, I think, is one cup. So depending on what you're ready for and depending on how old you are and what grade you're in, you may not be ready for this. And if you're not, that's okay. Try a different level. But have fun and always play math. Bye.